Hell's House from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Hell's House is a 1932 American pre-code drama film starring Junior Durkin, featuring Betty Davis, and directed by Howard Higgin. The screenplay by Paul Ganglin and B. Harrison Orkow, set during the waning days of the Prohibition era, is based on a story by Higgin. Plot When orphaned Jimmy Mason is taken in by his Aunt Emma and Uncle Henry, he meets their boarder, Matt Kelly, who impresses the young man with his boastful swagger and alleged political connections, although in reality he's a bootlegger. The boy's life is disrupted when, as one of Kelly's hired hands, he refuses to identify his boss during a police raid and is sentenced to three years of hard labor in reform school, where he befriends a sickly boy named Shorty, who eventually is sent to solitary confinement. When Jimmy realizes his new pal is seriously ill and desperately needs medical attention, he escapes and goes to Kelly and Kelly's girlfriend, Peggy Gardner, for help. Peggy contacts newspaper columnist Frank Gephardt, who is anxious to expose the conditions of the state industrial school. The authorities find Jimmy at Gephardt's office, but before they can apprehend him, Kelly admits his involvement in the bootlegging operation, and the boy is set free. He discovers Shorty has died, victimized by a corrupt system. Cast, in credits order, Betty Davis as Peggy Gardner, Pat O'Brien as Matt Kelly, Junior Durkin as Jimmy Mason, Frank Coughlin Jr. as Shorty, Emma Dunn as Emma Clark, Charlie Grapewin as Henry Clark, Morgan Wallace as Frank Gephardt, Hooper Ashley as Captain of the Guard, Wallace Clark as Judd Robinson, and James A. Marcus as Superintendent Charles Thompson. Production The film, shot in 13 days, originally was entitled Juvenile Court. Betty Davis was loaned to B.F. Ziedman Productions Limited by Universal Pictures, and following her completion of this film, studio head Carl Lamel Jr. allowed her option to drop. She was preparing to return to New York City when George Arliss offered her the ingenue role in The Man Who Played God. Critical Reception In his review in the New York Times, Mordaunt Hall observed, quote, The attempt to pillory reform schools is hardly adult in its attack, but it has a few moderately interesting interludes. The direction of this film is old-fashioned. Pat O'Brien gives a forced performance. Young Durkin's playing is sincere, and likewise that of Betty Davis as Peggy. End quote. This audio was recorded June 21, 2019.